Welcome to Honest Whispers Preview for Sale. On this video, I'll be previewing the Silver Age Wonder Woman and Wonder Girl DC Direct Deluxe Action Figure Set. Released by DC Direct on August 22nd, 2001. Wonder Woman is approximately 6 inches tall and Wonder Girl is approximately 5 and 3 quarter inches tall. Both figures are designed and sculpted by Tim Bruckner. I'm going to go over six different categories to preview this. First category is design, covers the concept, the look, and the points of articulations. And for the concept, fairly simple, this fi these figures are based on the Silver Age look. And as far as the way they look, they do look great. Both have eight points of articulations. One at the neck, two shoulders, two arms, or at the bicep two wrists which they are detachable hands and one at the waist for wonder girl same locations one at the neck two shoulders two arms two wrists and it is covered but they're supposed to be there one at the waist now they don't have points of articulations on the legs or knees which i definitely prefer Especially when you look at the way Wonder Woman's legs are, if she had points of articulations, it would have been useless anyways. Because if you bend her legs or knees, especially like at a sitting position, it's only going to be awkward because her, her knees are going to stay spread apart and her feet are going to come together. Wonder Girl might have been okay with the points of articulations, but I still prefer it without it because points of articulations tend to create uh, a seam line or kind of like a crack line basically where it can uh, I guess separate the curves a bit or or at least the painting it might kind of create this gap between the painting or kind of offset it an example here would be Wonder Woman's waist if you could see right there under her belt or the bottom part of her belt it comes in flat it's a sharp angle 90 degree angle and it just comes in flat but then you could see the top of her hip it curves in so unfortunately it creates a uh, bit of a gap on her right side well when you look at her left side it's all nice and smooth and seems to fit perfectly Wonder Girl, she looks perfectly fine. No, uh, the seam line doesn't make any weird cracks or anything like that. And also, unfortunately, I can't show you it, but if you look at her butt, uh, it is nice and smooth, uh, especially comparing it with uh, one that does have points of articulations, which you're able to because this Wonder Woman has been re-released in the reactivated series line twice with the slightly different head sculpt and added points of articulations like points of articulations uh, on her elbow on this one the original one doesn't have any points of articulations on the elbows for either figure so even though you can do a little posing with the arms you're not going to be able to do too much because they both, or at least the elbows, is going to have that permanent, um, I guess, bent angle. So, just not too much you can do with it. And as far as the stance goes, uh, for me, Wonder Woman looks good overall. Again, this is by preference, but I feel like her upper body is leaning to her right a little bit too much just kind of makes it slightly awkward when you look at it from certain angles like this angle is not bad and even on the I guess the promo picture or the uh, pictures of the uh, prototype I guess uh, she looks okay so if I did the same angle kind of like right here I guess would be okay but again if I'm looking at it straight forward Especially in comparison with Wonder Girl. I mean, it's not bad, but I would have preferred it if her upper body was straight up rather than with the lean. But 
that's basically uh, my personal preference so can't really hit a score on that my only thing here would be that uh, the points of articulations they really could have just left it out on the arms as well but it, it's not bad but other than the stance and the seam line both look great and that's why I give the design score a near perfect 9 out of 10 next category sculpting covers the details quality of the sculpt quality of the mold and the hairs for both figures look great overall face isn't too bad but I feel like the eyes are a little bit unproportioned uh, it just seems a little bit bigger than they should be and looking at it from certain angles it just seems like the eyes are a little bit too uh, caved in I guess better example would be the way Wonder Girl looks eyes a little bit too big especially the height of the eyes and then if you look at from certain angles I guess because the eyes are so big it makes it look like uh, they're like caved in more and even makes Wonder Girl uh, with the I don't know, forehead that looks a little bit big I guess compared to the rest of her face overall the mold quality is pretty good I don't see any you know bumps or indented lines or dimples or anything like that but then the sculpt of the breast looks a little bit awkward uh, really hard to show you exactly what I'm talking about but if you look at I guess it's the size and shape of her breasts I guess with Wonder Girl it's more visible uh, they they are shaped nice but they just look a little bit too round and it just feels like the way it starts I mean from the bottom of her neck or collarbone to I guess her upper breast it just looks a little bit awkward when you look at it from certain angles I guess what Wonder Woman you could uh, can't really see it from from this lighting and angle but it kind of comes in flat on the upper and it just perfect round boss just stick out like uh, perfect round boss just stick out on the chest it's kind of again it's not bad but I think it could have looked a little better or more natural looking rest of the costume looks great nice details on the eagle you could see that the eagle and the belt slightly uh, misaligned you could see the apex point of the belt and then the line bottom line of the eagle uh, doesn't match up and that's the same with the prototype you could see how the line doesn't match up to the apex point of the belt and for Wonder Girl nice design or not that she has much costume you know designing or an intricate costume or anything like that but still nicely done nice details of her rib cage stomach uh, same goes with Wonder Woman you could see the rib cage but of course that stomach line like the one that Wonder Girl has is covered by her um, breastplate the hips and legs look great again without the points of articulations just makes it nice and smooth which I really like boots it is simple but nice straight lines again even the knees just looks natural and you can see it does come with detachable lassos and there are other accessories like the displayable base 
Again, removable toga and interchangeable hands. Which the toga is like a piece of cloth that just goes over the figures. Which are nice extras, but of course if I'm displaying these figures, I would definitely have them without the toga on. Maybe put the toga on the side or hang it on the back of the display. Which, again, the display base is very nice and intricate looking. I'm sorry I can't show you it because this item uh, has been sold. So, again, going over the quality of the mold, I mean, don't see much indentation, weird sculpt lines or um, bumps, dimples. Uh, very smooth, pretty good quality, especially for DC Direct. Uh, if there's any flaws, there might be some like here on the fingers, especially like at the knuckle area. You can see little bumps here and there. That one right there for her pointer finger, that's probably the worst one you could see. And you can only see it when you're looking at it up close. Even for from about, I would say six inches to maybe about a feet, you're not going to be, you know, a foot, then you're not going to be able to see it. And that's why I give the sculpting score a very high 8 out of 10. Next category is colors, covers the accuracy, accuracy of the colors, quality of the paint, and quality of the paint application. And as you can see, both figures are painted very nicely. Very accurate coloring. Although the breastplate, if, if I had to point it out, it looks a bit more bronze than gold. So I would have preferred if they kind of had more of a gold tone to it. It is all matte finish, uh, at least for Wonder Woman. Although I think her lips, no, it's matte finish. The only thing I see that has more of a gloss finish would be Wonder Girl's bracelets and her boots, which has a nice effect to it. You can see how it shines. You can see the light reflecting off of it. You can not see the light reflecting off of her um, costume. So having that mixture of gloss and matte finish really adds a nice uh, look to it. I would have preferred that with Wonder Woman as well, especially on her breastplate and her uh, silver bracelets. But unfortunately, um, they just left it all matte, which is still fine, but would have been a nice add addition if they did add to that. Now, you can notice that her belt is white, but it is accurate to the Silver Age look. She did have a white belt compared to a gold belt. Now, as far as paint application goes, overall, very nice, especially for a DC Direct product. You could see uh, the stars not bad. The eyes are not bad. They are symmetrical, at least on this one. But it feels like the pupil, or at least the black dot of her left eye or our right side is a little bit bolder or bigger slightly bigger than the one on her her right eye it's something yeah you have to look really closely at and it isn't even that much and uh lips nicely painted eyebrows even her um sideburns kind of i guess you could call that sideburns uh pretty nicely painted costume nice paint not too much bleeding although there are some if if i really look for it i know there was a some bleeding of the white here on her belt the stars are very nice and then the legs or especially the boots uh, pretty good cons consistent straight lines uh, there might be just bleeding on the edge but because they're consistent you know straight lines they're not like wiggly lines or anything like anything like that so they do look good 
The paint job for Wonder Girl is even better. I mean, almost flawless. Now, you might see some squiggly lines here or some bleeding. But it is hard to uh, see when you're looking from afar. And then maybe some slight bleeding here with the belt. You can see the inner W of her right side. But that's just barely too. So again, if I just pull out maybe up to like six inches or about a foot, you're definitely not going to see it. Again, I know the boots are simple, but I just love how they look, especially with the glossy finish. Again, even when I'm looking really up close, there's not too much errors. Just those little minor bleeding or squiggly lines. And just to give you a closer look of the eyes, this one, her eyes are slightly, um, I guess, I mean, it's symmetrical, but then, or as, if you look at her right eye pupil, the black dot, it's a little off. So she does have a bit of that googly eye look which you can only see from really up close. That's a good angle right there, where you could see that uh, one of her eye. The position is good, but that black dot of her right eye, or on our left side, it's just slightly lower than it should be. Otherwise, everything else looks pretty good. Uh, the eyeliner, eyebrows, and of course the hair so that's why i give the coloring score a near perfect nine out of ten next category is packaging covers the detail the look the design and of course functionality and for a 2001 product this has a very nice packaging uh, nice little window, four color box packaging. Makes it easy to kind of take care of or store. Uh, I like the overall layout. You get the titles, the names, little details, like what it's, what it includes or what, you know, what's inside with the nice uh, prototype picture. On the side, you get, I guess, both figures with the names. They're identical both sides. Top similar with the two same pictures right there. But then you have that picture from the front as well. And then the back. Nice details about the characters. Of course the toga. And then also the other characters that's available. So even though it has... It is promoting prior characters or figures that was released in the DC Direct uh, product lines. You still get the individualized look and information. So I definitely like that. Bottom is just, uh, if I could show you here, it's just the UPC company information. And um, functionality wise, definitely keeps these uh, figures intact. Uh, no worries about them getting damaged or anything like that. And the box is pretty sturdy. Now, if I had to make any kind of improvements, maybe I would have, because um, it doesn't look like any of the back space is used. Uh, if I could, I would have maybe taken all the prior you know i guess the prior figures out probably move this in maybe size it so it fit and then have a window for the back of the figures and that would have made it perfect i mean with this they even have the wonder woman the end kind of cut out right there which is pretty cool too rather than just a simple rectangular square window so I give the packaging score a perfect 10 out of 10. Next category is value. 
covers that suggest the retail price versus the aftermarket price. And of course, suggest the retail price or aftermarket price versus the quality. And as far as quality goes, uh, definitely nice, especially for something that was made almost 20 years ago. Uh, and right now, if they release these figures now, they would probably probably be at least twenty dollars, maybe close to twenty five, because that's usually how much these new figures are starting to be retailed out. Now, this uh, sold out pretty fast back then. Unfortunately, I bought this after it sold out, so I did pay. Uh, close to around $50 and that was maybe about a year or two after its release now it's been 20 years and I sold this item for $50 so for about 17 18 years the aftermarket price didn't go up at all it just went up to 50 pretty much kept there and stayed there I have over the years seen it uh, on sale for a little less than $50 but the average is definitely around 50 and with shipping included uh, the buyer paid about $61.29 so there is some value but for six for 19 years not that much and it can still probably go up in value but it's going to take a long time so that's why I give the value score just a slightly above average 6 out of 10. Final categories overall accumulates the five part categories design, sculpting, colors, packaging, and value. And this one, I really like it a lot, especially for something that's almost 20 years old. It still looks great. If this was released now, uh, definitely, you know, and I didn't have any of the figures that was either, either this one or the one that was released in the reactivated. Uh, I would definitely buy this if it was released right now for the first time as is, uh, quality is just as good as anything that's released right now. Sculpting looks great. Again, for action figures like this with the predetermined pose or stance, I prefer without any points of articulations. So this is definitely, uh, I guess, my cup of tea as far as how action figures are made. Now, if the points of articulations were really poseable with ball joints rather than just hinge joints, then it's a different story. But in this case, I like the overall look as is, especially, you know, just the way, um, especially for something like this where uh, it, it looks better without those seam lines. Or if it added the seam line, it would have been pointless anyways. And comes with lots, lots of nice um, accessories, which may not even use but even the displays display base for an action figure this is like one of the best if not the best looking base ever because usually they're just flat with the logo that's why i give the overall score a pretty high eight out of ten so to recap design nine out of ten Sculpting, 8 out of 10. Colors, 9 out of 10. Packaging, 10 out of 10. Value, 6 out of 10. And overall, 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Until next time, continue reading the King James Version Bible and eat your vitamin C's daily.